What up? So we're back in New York after a crazy road trip all the way to Alabama and back, stopping at Duncan, stopping at Josh, shipping the wagon our wide, buying two motor compactos. We're back in New York and we're back with the cappuccino and we're gonna fix this. I think the next video is gonna be me fixing this. I ordered some parts thanks to anything wheeling to do with the cool AZ1. He also has a Dahatsu mirror walkthrough. We happen to have an extra valve cover gasket along with the cam seals. So I'm not gonna say that that's necessarily my problem. But I do think that's something that needs to get changed no matter what. So unfortunately, and maybe fortunately, you know, it's just part of the game. It's part of the channel. I do think a waffle between the cappuccino, obviously, if I can fix it or not, and the mirror walkthrough is going to be happening very soon. I want to say, I don't know, maybe like in a couple days after you're watching this video. If not, it already started and I gave away some free slots on Patreon. But the cappuccino I own since November, and I think it's just ready to go to its next home. And the mirror walkthrough, I'm about to pick it up from Teggy right now. That's what this video is all about. I'm not really ready to get rid of it yet. I think that the winner most likely would take the cappuccino anyway, and that's obviously if I fix it or not. But I do have something that can replace the mirror walkthrough that's going to come from Japan and that should be here late June. So if I do get rid of the white one, I do have another one coming. I'm not going to tell you too much about it just yet. My Patreon people know exactly what it is. But I do have another mirror walkthrough coming late June, early July before I go to Japan. So I don't really need two mirror walkthroughs in the cappuccino. Ideally, I honestly really want to sell both. If you want to buy the white one, hit me up. I think I want like, I don't know, maybe like... I don't even know. I haven't even picked it up from Taggy, so I don't even know what it looks like. But I just got a full detail, like full ceramic, full like everything. Like it's not like a wash that I usually do. So I'm I'm assuming it's gonna look 10 out of 10. And I also got the mirrors, the wipers, a lot of things powder coated. I'm going nuts on that car. I haven't even painted the calipers yellow yellow yet. Sorry, that threw me off. But yeah, I'm going nuts on that car. So the mirror walkthrough, I'd say, I don't know, offer me like 13,000. I think I'd consider it. And then the cappuccino, obviously, when it's fixed, I feel like that's worth at least like 15 16 so if you're interested in buying either of them let me know that'd be best case scenario and then we'll just waffle off the other one and then if i do do a waffle i think the honda moto compacto would be the second place prize but we'll get into that when we need to let me just drive over to teggy now i'm in his honda street along with all the parts i got him we got a whole bunch of things back there shout out to the homies out west kevin at ok garage we got two boxes from him plugs wires i got this from amazon if you know you know i put this on my van and it made a big difference along with some h4 and then I'm gonna give him this just out of a gift because you know he's a huge Honda fanboy and then I even bought some stuff here that I want to kind of mock up on my car so I got some like some Hot Wheels I bought some magnets a lot of things like I'm ready to get the car on the road this coming June 1st I'm actually gonna go to car meet in New Jersey if you're around the New Jersey New York area that's gonna be the first time where I set up the mirror walkthrough as an actual shop so I got some magnets to hold stuff like this up there I'm gonna put that in the car. I'm actually designing some shirts. I'll show you what that looks like on the screen right now. And then, you know, a bunch of this cool stuff that I all plan to sell in the back of my mirror walkthrough. Bunch of K stuff, bunch of JDM stuff, things I have left over from Japan, along with my pins, all that good stuff. But all right, let's now drive to Tegi. Let's see what my car looks like. I can't wait to see it in person. Wow, like even this stuff is nice. Right? Did you do something to this? We, we just sealed everything up. Ah. We sealed everything up. So all the black is super Did black. You see? Yeah, no, this is the first thing I saw. Right? That's all nice. We did the engine bay. Dude, wow. the engine bay was so dirty. Dude. Really? I mean, there's still like some stuff that just would not come off. Like just so greasy, bro. But like, it is clean now. It's super clean. Even the chrome is chroming. Yeah, we chrome. Yeah, we polished off the chrome. I mean, listen for a thirty-year-old car. I, I wouldn't say the paint is. Oh, the wipers are there. Yeah, I have the wipers inside. I have the wipers inside, but the wipers are not wiping. What do you mean? Like we put it back on, we put the wipers back on. Yeah. And they don't want to wipe. Damn. So something is. We got to figure that out. Yeah. But. Even when you turn it on here? Even when you turn, yeah, I went to go turn it on and the wipe was on wiping. And I all I did was take them off. Yeah. The interior, we steamed it, we shampooed it. Wow. Wow. Look how nice you see how nice and clean this looks? It smells so clean too. Yeah. We, we actually like spray waxed the whole interior for you. 
What, is, what does that even mean? You know how sp we put spray wax on the outside of the uh, car to make it, it look nice? We did it on the same, like, We did it on the inside, too, yeah. Check it out. We, oh. we polished up the lips on the wheels to make them look nicer. You know what's crazy? I'm going to do a raffle for this soon. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, man. So forget about it. This is going to be... You know how clean? I don't want to, but... I thought you were going to sell glizzies at it. I am, I am, I am. You're not going to raffle it off yet. You got to enjoy I'm going to do it, but I don't think it's going to fill up in like a day. You know? Soup, it's super clean now, dude. I don't even know if the shade is doing it justice. We should bring it outside. We should. We should. Bring it outside. We should. I mean, you remember how dull it was. Yeah, yeah. But those little pieces, man, they just go a long way. I didn't take photos of it yet. You have to. Looks man nice. How do I waffle this? How do I get rid of this, period? I kept saying it's my forever, K, and I mean it. Wait till you guys see this in the sun right now. Wow, look at those rims. I see what you mean now too by like, the white is white. The white is white. The white is white. You definitely can't see. How was this? Was it annoying to finally get it off? Not really. I mean, you could still see very little because that probably has, like you can still kind of see it up here a little bit and on the front. But feel the paint. The paint is super smooth now too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Here with the back of your hand, back of your back. Mad smooth. Wow. <laughs> it feels better, this. Now it's white, dude. Yeah. Now it's white. Wow, maybe I really do have to get all these cars like fully detailed. Like the washes are cool and all, but wow. I'm driving this to the car meet this Saturday and it's gonna be the showstopper for real now. I'm gonna end this video here. Stay tuned for this build. Let me give you guys one last 360 in the sun. I just put this car on Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna put the link in the bio. I got it up for 15,000. Let me know if you think that's too much, in my opinion. I think it's pretty fair seeing what the going rate for these mirror walkthroughs are. And what I feel like I have going for mine is not only did I get a full detail, but remember I did the full service there. So everything, it's in my post, I'll show it on the screen right now, but I got all that done on this guy. Along with the wheels, newish tires, brand new steering wheel, brand new radio. We got the PA box. Back here is nice and clean. But yeah, happy to have this here. Let's see what happens. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, waffle. Crazy waffle too, because it's gonna be this or the cappuccino. And then second place is gonna be the mirror walkthrough. Third place probably gonna be cash. Fourth place is gonna be a glow plate. Fifth place maybe be a glow plate. Six, seven, eight, nine, tenth place. It's gonna be crazy. All of this, just, just to get the wiper arms back on. Took apart half of this, that, this. I might actually use a torch to get that black. Been struggling. Putting this all back together. About to put the wiper arms back on. While taking everything apart, I figured we also torch this. Not sure if you guys remember the before, but here's the after. Looking real good. Now we're just gonna put that back. I'm gonna put my steering wheel back on and then we'll actually end this video. Everything else works. We're back in business. I took all the comments from the Honda Acti video. You didn't pay the wipers, you didn't pay the wipers, you didn't pay the wipers. I went above and beyond. I got them powder coated. But yeah, I'm in this video now. Everything's back together. I think at some point I'm gonna see if I get these white because I would love for that to be a bit brighter. It's the next day and I wanted to show you guys the mirror walkthrough in the rain. 
and you see how it's just beating off do you see that i feel like honestly i i make a lot of jokes about you know i'm not really understanding detailing and everything like that but after getting this mirror done i've been getting non-stop compliments about people saying like hey did you get the car painted like what you do to it like look, like, look at it like look at the water just beating off in comparison to it caking up on the paint. Look at this, look at this, look at the side. Oh my God. Uh, how do I, I know this video is kind of about me saying I'm gonna sell it and this car is soon to be to its next owner. Maybe a waffle, but wow. The first one out of my 15 Ks, this is the first one that got its full detail and look at it, just look at it. Look at the wheels, look at the paint interior mint with the weight for the thing steering wheel yeah i had to just show you guys this because i knew it was gonna look crazy in the rain and i cannot believe it i cannot believe it wow thank you guys for watching peace out waffle coming soon though either way um if you're on my patreon you know exactly why but this is a great car if it sells for 15k it sells for 15k if it doesn't somebody's gonna get this and maybe i'll even drive it to you since i did the full maintenance and everything we just got to put these caps back on they're at teggy shop i can't get over the beating look at the beating look at the water wow 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 coming to you live from wow. is this actually a rental it's for sale it's for sale but they got damn they got, uh, they got uh, what's it called prices duncan, duncan prices bro it says 27,000 coming to you live. We saw this on the road, we had to pull over, but I don't know about 27K. I love the plate though. Oh wow, this was imported from the UK, I think. That's kind of cool. Look at the. Pretty cool though. Stay tuned for this video. We're gonna do a bunch of fun stuff. We are currently, I thought we were in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, but we're somewhere else, but there's like go-karts and the Titanic and upside down buildings and a bunch of stuff and alligators there. Live alligators? Wow, look at that. Cowboy. Oh, at, that one's nice. at first i wasn't going to really record a lot of these random clips so i guess i'll add this in there this will be the extras we're already in um tennessee though so i missed a lot of the extras going to duncan and everything but we're here in bucky's not sure exactly we're gonna grab besides some food i got some beaver nuggets i was gonna grab a hot dog but Just these two, or they coming back? It's a lot of fun. Right. Yeah. yeah. Thank right. you. Nice to meet you. Tell me about your recent purchase. A steering wheel, bro. With the nitrous buttons? With the nitrous buttons. Is this gonna go on one of the beats, maybe? It's gonna go on everything. It's gonna go on every K. And then I just got these. You guys already know, Tri-Spoke Nation. Although it has this deep gash right there, I had to do it. Next stop, you already know where we at. Do I even have to say it? You guys know, I need that Nando sponsorship ASAP. If you're ever in Virginia Beach all of a sudden, I thought I was only in the DMV, you have to come to Nando's. You have to. It's the best chicken in the world, and it's global. It's not even just America. It's all over the country and the continent. Actually, not even continent. What am I even saying? I'm just too excited. Let's eat. I'm gonna show you guys the next clip. It's gonna be some delicious food right there. Spicy Caesar salad, chicken breast, chips, peri peri ranch, avocado, garlic bread, and we're still waiting on David's food. We're somewhere in. Baltimore, Maryland. 
Next stop, we're actually headed to Josh at A404 Imports, and I got some sad news over there. Just got to Josh at A404 Imports. We're picking up a car to trailer at home with this. I'm not gonna tell you which one it is just yet, but we're picking up something. Got some more bonus files for you. Hey! Crazy to think that this is essentially where the road trip started. I was here with the Mitsubishi Tapo. I was making some videos on the Atlas, the Wagon R, the Acti, the Jimny, and now we're back with no Tapo. But we did buy a bunch of fun stuff. Now that we're kind of back to New York, I'll give you guys an update. Combine all those random clips. So we got this. This is a pop tent. David bought that for potentially another K car. Kind of do the same thing that he did with the Topo BJ. And then I bought some good old three spokes. You already know. I mean, I know you guys are tired of me talking about three spokes, but I think this is going to be the new norm. I'm going to put not necessarily these Ray C Ultras, but I'm going to put a three spoke rim, yellow calipers, see if I can meet the winner every single time I do a waffle, along with like a new radio, underglow other maintenance, stuff like that. But I want this to kind of be the new way for the fame spec. So whenever someone sees a K car, they see yellow calipers, they see three spokes, they see all the stuff that I love to do. They just know Nicholas Jimenez put his hands on it. David also picked up this sparkle wheel that I showed you guys. And then we picked up two Moto Compactos, one for him, one for me. But the winner, Justin Lynch, took one of them. So I think this one I'm going to keep for the new waffle that's coming up very soon. I believe it's gonna be for either the cappuccino or the mirror walkthrough. Haven't really figured it all out, but this most likely is gonna be the second place prize. And then let me tell you why we're back over here. So we're actually gonna tow this back to New York or New Jersey. Not 100% sure. Sadly though, it's not going to my house. Josh actually sold it. Seeing how we're in the truck and seeing how he has a dolly over there, we're gonna help him out. So we're gonna trail this back to New Jersey to the new owner. Only thing left now is this Jimny, this Acti. Maybe I should buy this Acti, but I think he has someone coming tomorrow to buy this one as well. So we can't even pick this up, but this would be cool. Felt good, felt like I had a lot of power. And then Jimny, I already had two Jimny, so I really want another one. If I'm gonna get another off-roader, I'll get like a Terrios Kid, or I'll get like a Pajero Junior or Mini, or I'll get like a Suzuki K, one of those four-wheel drive, that'd be cool. Let's slide the front. Oh, you good? Oh, jeez. Too big, bro. You lost a finger too? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. It's too big. No. What do you mean, imagine, no? Imagine putting like a rack. It sits up here and then back here. If you get a bed extender, you see like the ones they have for the Oh, the new ones? ones? For the back. Yeah, where like no, com no, it comes like, out here. Forget about it being in here. Like, imagine lifted. that rack. Oh, lifted? You know, oh, like the like the yeah. headache, like the rack that they build? You know, like the, the rack that, the, yeah, the Mitsubishi like the one? one? Yeah. yeah. So you put the like the nose part right here, so it overhangs here, and then the back part on the back. And now you got yourself a camping acti. How far does that go? The ladder? Oh, it, it's big. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, so that's why you're saying on a second tier. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. Right now. Damn. Yeah. I think I joke. You can get up on your roof with this right now. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's built for. So imagine that on like their car. Or the Atlas. Or the Atlas, yeah. yeah. Atlas might be gone. Wow. What a difference. Can't we're coming soon? It's oh, a yeah. big difference though, right? Huge. Like because it's fuel injected. It just takes off. Like, yeah, it's no like lag, it's not it's still not fast, yeah. but it's it's still pretty good. It's and you got the AC on? Yeah. Wow. It's like super peppy. It's crazy. Yeah, camper for sure, bro. No doubt about it. Like, it, it needs to happen. It, I mean, could you imagine this? It sounds like you're a Honda fanboy to me. I mean, I'm definitely fanboying this one. The two-spoke wheel. Airbag. Airbag. Cubby. Glove compartment. Imagine an A Toto here. I Shout know. out to A Toto. I know. Not yet, but just for the backlight too. Yeah, I had to translate. Me too. Know. ETC reader. 
Yeah. You would think it has yellow calipers. I know, right? Doesn't have the way before the fame touch yet. Update. We are currently, I think, in New Jersey. I'm at Freddy's. I've always wanted to go here. My homie Sniper Jones made a video and he said this was like the best food ever. We actually were initially going to go to Cane's. You know, Cane's is always pretty accurate with their tenders. But I just went in here, ordered some food. I got a burger, a hot dog, of course, tenders, spicy sauce, regular Freddy sauce. And I think he also got a shake. So let's see what it looks like. Out of 10? These are 10 for sure. Really? A 10 yeah. out of 10? Yeah, 10 Damn, out of 10. Hold on, let's see what's going on. A hot hoop. How's this? Oh, this is great. Really? It's got worms in it and everything. Really? Yeah, it's really good. You want some? I got what? Worms, like. Oh, worm? Do you see the worms? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right, let's wait for my hot dog and everything to get here. I wonder if they have like ketchup and mustard. Look at that glizzy. Glizzy's shining right wow, now. Wow, look at those. Too. Looks like it's fresh from the beach right now. Nice yeah. and sweaty. <laughs> Remember the name. This is big for the fame.